Hi everybody, welcome to the next update of my Reverse Rouge No Buy 2022. I feel like this has been a long time since I filmed the last one. Everything last month was pre-recorded, so it's been quite a while since I've been able to sit and film. Lilith is sleeping, so let's see if I can film this and one other. Okay, let's just get right into it. Empties first. I have these big old things of shampoo and conditioner. Shampoo is the, they're both Giovanni Too Chic. Too Chic. But this one is for fine limp hair and this one to smooth and control frizz. Absolutely hated this shampoo. I ended up using it as body wash. I don't know why my hair didn't like it when I like another thing in this line a lot and the shampoo just didn't work. The conditioner was great, but the the same color in shampoo is not Curly Girl approved. So I didn't get it. That's why I had two different colors. Um, and I got these for $9.99 at, I think it was TJ Maxx. They're, they retail for more, but I'm just putting the, the retail price for these. So I would purchase the conditioner and definitely not that shampoo. But in the same line, I have the hair foam. It's a foam styling mousse for fine limp hair. I love this stuff. I absolutely love this stuff. Uh, this is like my fifth one in the last like two years and I'm trying a new brand of hair foam because these are hard to come by at TJ Maxx and Marshalls and they're a couple dollars more online and it's $9.99 online which is what I'm counting this one as and um, I would definitely buy five more if I found five in the store. Let's see, next I have, let me just find them here. My Holy Grail Shea Moisture Silicone Free Miracle Style Leave-In Treatment. Huh, super long title. It's sugarcane extract and uh, meadow foam seed. I wanna find more products with that ingredient. Sugar cane extract and meadow foam seed. I love this stuff. I can use it by itself and still have a really good hair day, pretty good frizz control. I'm not, I have other stuff on top of it today, um, but I have like five or six more in my stash and I will definitely keep on buying. For hair, I have one more thing and that is my hair dye. This is the Joico Intensity in the shade or in the color. I have like two colors that I use. This is either lavender, here we go. This one's light, light purple. I really like these. I feel like they last the same as Arctic Fox, but when it fades completely, these pink undertones go away and actually have like a really white blonde underneath. Um, but a lot of this pink that you see, and you can see that I'm, the bottom is grown out quite a bit compared to the top. Um, these berry under undertones are from Arctic Fox, so I regret using that one the first time I bleached my hair. Um, and the only way to get it out completely is if I do a bleach wash, which I don't want to do. Um, but this goes on fine on top of it, and I will buy more. Let's see. Makeup remover. I have the Green Clean Pharmacy Cleansing Bob. Oh, this is $50. And this is $24. It's great, but is it worth $24? I like the Shop Miss A AOA brand one just as good, but it's so hard to get it. It's out of stock. Um, so I don't think I would repurchase this. This was, I think, a BoxyCharm thing I had. Um, it's just too expensive for how fast you go through it. Okay, body care. I have a few things. I have the... Let's see, the Pacifica Glow Baby Body, it says peel. It's not a peel. Why do things keep saying body peel when it's just a body mask? It was like a jelly consistency. It felt like, it didn't even feel like it did anything. So I wouldn't repurchase. This was $14. Yeah, $14. Would not buy it again. Along with body care, I have my Jason vitamin E. This is the extra strength uh, skin oil. This one was $15.99. It actually costs more. I got it on sale 
and uh, it, it's like 20 bucks on Amazon right now, but I got it for a couple bucks off uh, with a coupon I used and uh, birthday money. So it's really, really thick and sticky. So I'm guessing that's because it's the extra strength. It's the 3200 IU. Um, I did not enjoy this. Thank goodness it was a small bottle. Um, I do like vitamin E, just not the extra strength. I have one, two, three, four body lotions. These are all from the hotels I stay at with my timeshare. And some of them I just had stashed away and I'm trying to slowly go through the stuff that I just keep hoarding. So I went through four, three dollars a pop is what I put them at. So that's $12 in lotion. Sorry, I'm a little congested. I don't know if you can hear that. Uh, let's see, skincare, I have the Beauty Pie Wonder Scrub. I've been using this since last year. And now that I have something else in my skincare routine, I realize the reason this took me so long is because I did not enjoy it. It doesn't have very good, you know, exfoliation. So I would not repurchase this from Beauty Pie. And this cost $15. I think it was less, but because I'm not a member anymore, I can't see what the member price is. So I just went off of what the website said currently, and that's $15. I bought this over a year ago, so I have no idea how to track how much it was when I purchased it. I also have an Exfolicate Mini. This is really good, but I do not even want to guess what a full price, a full size would cost. So $3 for the mini. And then I have some serums. This is the Nourish Mantra Urban Rain, oh, Urban Rani Facial Serum. I don't think it did anything to my skin. And I couldn't find a good retail price because this isn't a full size. So I ended up going off of what I found close to this size on a, uh, on a Mercari listing. And this was $10. So that's still a good price, but it looks like the full size is like 30 or 40 bucks. Definitely would not buy it for that price. There is a serum that I would purchase, and this is a sample of the number seven resurfacing glycolic peel serum. This was awesome! And it's glycolic, which is safe to use while breastfeeding, and it's very, very, very tempting to go and buy one. I have a few things in my collection that are safe to use while I'm still breastfeeding. And if I run out of things that are safe, I might go and buy this. We'll see, but eventually I will be buying a full size. And I'm, I think I'm only counting this one as $1 because it was a chasse, a sachet, sachet, is that how you say it? Um, but I had multiple uses, so it was very good. And then one last skincare is the CeraVe Ultra Light Moisturizing Lotion. I put this for $3. Um, you know, it was moisturizing. It, it did its job. So I put it at $3. I, indifferent on it. I, I would repurchase it if I needed something and that was the only thing available, but I like a little bit more of a gel consistency for moisturizer. Then this, this little sucker. Do you know how much this costs? <laughs> Can you guess what this costs? $16. This. And I didn't like it. Definitely not worth it. It's not gripping, which is funny because, so the title on here is Urban Decay All Nighter Face Primer Long Wearing Foundation Grip. Okay, it, I thought it was only on the box, but it does say grip in the title and it is not gripping. It's smoothing, sure, but that's not what I wanted. I wanted tacky, gripping, sticky primer. That is not it. Not worth the $16. Thank goodness I bought the mini and not the full size. One of the uh, chic brow blades, $1.66. I have a few more in my collection. And then for the two makeup items, you should have already seen this if you've seen my lipstick. I keep calling it Lipstick Project Pan, but it's called Lip Service Project Pan. I got my Lime Crime in the shade L and my Maybelline in the shade, oh, this font is so small, very cranberry. This one, it's nice. I have one that's a little bit more muted and I think I would like that better, but I love this formula, 10 out of 10. Definitely buy again because I have a bunch in my collection. And this is a beautiful color. 
I can get some color still. There's just, it's very dry when I put it on. It's a very beautiful color, but it's not smudge proof. And I have similar in, in the formulas that I like better. So this was $11.49. And this one, it doesn't look like this shade is on the website anymore. I want to say I bought it at Ulta. I don't remember. I've had this for a very long time, but I just, you know, a velveteen lipstick is retails for $15. So that's what I marked it as. So $15 for that. I wouldn't buy Lime Crime again, but that color I would definitely buy again. And I do have similar in my collection. Okay, empties for the month or for the last couple months. Total is $198.11. That is really good. A lot of body care, not a lot of makeup, but that's what I'm doing lately. Like this is my second time wearing makeup in the last two weeks. So I do what I can. I'm gonna put all of this in my empties bin and then I'll come back and we will discuss declutters and purchases. So these come in a nozzle. I don't like using it that way, so I just keep this from an old shampoo bottle and put that back. Okay, declutters. There's only three, so I'll go through those really quickly. I have a brush from the Tetris Ipsy collection, brand new. I will be adding this to the giveaway bag for when I hit 250 subscribers. I was just trying to declutter brushes and seeing what I didn't need and that's how I picked that one. Then this hair tie, it came in a three pack. I don't like this material for my hair so that's why I'm getting rid of it. And I put the brush as $3 and the hair tie as $3.33 because it's a three pack for $9.99 at Hot Topic. And this lipstick, which is $9.99, I marked it wrong on my list. I put it as $9, it's $9.99. Um, it's very bright, very, very bright. It has a pink undertone. It looks nice in a swatch but it's just, it's not my shade. So this is gone. I don't think I'll miss it. I have plenty of reds that I do like. So those three things equals two, okay, plus the 99 cents because I marked this wrong. My declutters is 1632. I hope I did the math right. <laughs> now for the next list that's bigger is purchases. I have a lot of stuff, but a lot of it is repurchases, so I think at the end of the year I am going to calculate everything that I purchased for the year and the total of what was actually just to replenish what I needed, just to see how well I actually did. Um, the ones I went to go grab for my shower is the Love Beauty and Planet Shampoo and Conditioner. This is the Coconut Milk and White Jasmine. And I got so tired of using those Giovanni ones that I bought these before I ran out, and which is why I used the conditioner as a pre-wash or as just extra conditioner instead of this one. And I used the shampoo as body wash because I just, I was trying to finish those and then buy something else and I, I couldn't do it. So I'm already this far on the uh, shampoo and conditioner. These retail for Or I put, I think they're $9.99 or $12.99, $6.99, goodness, I just, I'm all over the place because I want to make sure I finish before she wakes up. $13.98 for the shampoo and conditioner. Then the other thing I went to go grab for my shower that I'm currently using is the Not Your Mother's Activated Charcoal and Purple Moonstone Scalp Scrub, which is $8.99. So I use those little fiber, topic fibers for my scalp since I have thinning hair from COVID and postpartum hair loss. And I read somewhere that I should be using a scalp scrub to, to make sure my, you know, that it, I'm getting it all out. But I don't know if I actually need it because I use a scalp brush to wash my hair, but I do like it. I just now, after a couple of uses, I 
put the two and two together and I realized I didn't think I needed it. But I am enjoying it, so I'm going to use it up. Then there was ten times the points for shampoo and the ones I wanted to try next is what I got. So I got the Not Your Mother's Naturals a Blue Sea Kale and Pure Coconut Water Shampoo and Conditioner. I've used the conditioner before. Love it. So I got the matching shampoo this time because I actually needed it. So I'm really excited to use these together. I'm just not sure. I have small hands. So I'm not sure how I feel about this packaging, but I'll give it a try. I have the old packaging of this still, so I might just pour it in there. And my mom has this shampoo, and I might just trade it for her, and she can use that one. Because I like the ones with the pump, but I'm thinking this this might be okay to use one-handed. I just hope I don't like, you know, put too much in my hand. So those were $15.98 for the set. Then, hair dye. That other color that you saw in my empties, there was only a little bit left, so I actually had to mix. I used about half of a bottle per time I dye my hair. So I used whatever was left in that and then half of this. And then I tried a new color. So this one is light purple. This one is also light purple. And then this one is lavender. There's one other shade that I've been wanting, but every time my stylist goes to check, they are always out. So I've got three, they're $15 a pop. So $45, I think that's the most I've spent on a single thing, but this will in theory last me six months. Okay, and then the things I didn't need to buy. There was a coupon on the Target app, so I bought this. I remember really enjoying this uh, freshman year when I was on the swim team, I used to have swim and then I had English class and I always remember doing my hair in the beginning of English class using this and I really enjoyed it and then I realized that it is curly girl approved so I rebought it because I thought you know the nozzle would make things easier so $4.99 but I've had it so long stashed here that I don't remember how much I paid I think I had a dollar off on it but I'm just marking it as the retail price of $4.99 then another gel that's absolutely not needed but it's for a future video, which I'm hoping to film next. It's my Kinky Curly Curling Custard. I'm using it today, so I opened it. And this is $18.49. So two more gels to add to my hair <laughs> stash. Then I bought these on AliExpress. So these are those little sponge eyeshadow brushes. <sighs> I bought these because I struggle to use a brush for shimmers. It's just not as good as when I use my finger. And I want to use my brushes instead because I don't want it on my hands and you know wiping on my clothes and then my daughter puts my shirt in her mouth and then it gets in her mouth, you know? So I have two different kinds. One of these is being used right now. It was weird. I ordered these first because I liked the size of the handle. Here we go, this way you can see better. So I got two for a dollar with shipping, like they're super cheap. Um, but I got a refund because they didn't ship it. So then I ordered these from a different seller, same price, I get more. These arrived and then these arrived. So I don't know what happened, but two dollars for these. And I do like, I do like the, the applicator. Then the last thing you would have seen already if you've seen my last episode of What the Haul Amy and my Try On, but I have two bronzers, Super Shock bronzers and blushes. So let me just show all four. So we got four. Now I am getting rid of one, which is Get Sandy. It's too light for me. But I haven't gotten it rid of it yet, so it's still counting as a purchase. These were $8 a pop. And then in my next update, I'll just have a picture of this because I don't think I'll have it. I'm going to try and get this packed up this week. Um, but this is going to Kim from Teacher Loves Beauty because this is too light for me and it's going to work for her. Then I need to decide if this is okay or I need to get the shade up. 
That's why I bought multiple shades because I couldn't tell what was going to be a good match for me. Then I have two eyeshadows, $5 each. I have a matte white called Stone Face Matte and this mauve brown in the shade Chick, Chick Happens. Oh my god, I had a dog. Now this one I think was on sale or on clearance, but it's not on the website anymore. So I just marked it as $5, same as this one. Oh, I missed one thing from my declutters. This is a this is the California palette. I departed everything and I turned it into a magnetic palette, but I don't use it. These are really small. I can't use just any shadow. I have to use the ColourPop ones, so I'm just gonna get rid of it. And I'm not counting it as a value. Okay, so back to the purchases. My total of purchases was $151.43. So really good. As long as I purchase less than what is going out, I'm happy. I'll have the total on the screen that equals my empties and my declutters because I'm always curious what that is, but I just, I calculate everything in their own category first. And I think I did really well with purchases because all of it is hair stuff and I'll go through it faster than I will makeup. Sure, these are gonna take longer, but like the hair dye was needed, all the shampoos and conditioners were needed, and these don't break my no-buy rules because I made it a rule at the beginning of the year, hoping that they would actually come out with a Super Shock bronzer, and they did, so these don't break my rule. It's pretty much just the gels that, that did it, and then the two eyeshadows. So I think I did really, really good. Uh, this is my fifth update this year. I'm hoping to do one more before the year is over, and then I'll go over all of my numbers of everything um, and see how I did when you add all the updates together, which I think I'm going to come out ahead. I think I will have way more empties and declutters than I do purchases. So great, great. I just need to keep that up because I don't want too much coming in with my limited space. It's only allowed to fit in my vanity or one of my shelves in my bathroom for hair care. Um, and that's it. I'm going to be done rambling. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.